Thus, wisdom wishes to appear most bright when it doth tax itself. As these black masks proclaim and in shield beauty ten times louder than beauty could displayed. But mark me, to be received plain, I'll speak more gross. Your brother is to die. So? And his offence is so, as it appears, accounting to the law upon that pain. True. Admit no other way to save his life, as I subscribe not that nor any other. But, in the loss of question, that you, his sister, finding yourself desired of such a person whose credit with the judge, our own great place, could fetch your brother from the manacles of the all-binding law, and that there were no earthly mean to save him, but that either you must lay down the treasures of your body to this supposed, or else to let him suffer, what would you do? As much for my poor brother as myself, that is, were I under the terms of death. The impression of keen lips I'd wear as rubies, and strip myself to death as to a bed that longing have been sick for, ere I deal my body up to shame! Then must your brother die! And for the cheaper way! Better a brother died at once than that a sister in redeeming him should die forever. Are not you then as cruel as the sentence that you have slandered so? Ignominy in ransom and free pardon are of two houses. Lawful mercy is nothing kin to foul redemption. Oh, you seem not like to make the law a tyrant, and rather prove the sliding of your brother a merriment than a vice. Oh, pardon me, my lord. It all falls out to have what we would have, we speak not what we mean. I something to excuse the thing I hate for his advantage that I dearly love. We are all frail. Else let my brother die. If not a federy, but only he owns succeed thy weakness. Nay, hey, women are frail too. Aye, as the glasses where they view themselves, which are as easy broke as they make form. Women, help heaven. Men their creation mar in profiting by them. Nay, call us ten times, Freya, for we are as soft as our complexions are, and credulous to false prints. I think it well, and from this testimony of your own sex, since I suppose we are made to be no stronger than faults may shake our frames. Let me be bold. I do arrest your words, be that you are, that is, a woman. If you be more, you're none. If you be one, as you are well expressed by all external warrants. Show it now, by putting on the destined livery. I have no tongue but one. Gentle, my lord, let me entreat you speak the former language. Plainly conceive, I love you. My <coughs> brother did love Juliet. And you tell me that he shall die for it. shall not, Isabel, if you give me love. I know your virtue hath a license in it. Which seems a little fairer than it is to pluck on others. Believe me on mine honour, my words express my purpose. Little honour to be most believed and most pernicious purpose. Seeming. Seeming. I will proclaim thee, Angelo, look for it. Sign me a present pardon for my brother, or with an outstretched throat, I'll tell the world aloud what man thou art. Who will believe thee, Isabel? <laughs> My unsoiled name, the austereness of my life, my vouch against you and my place in the state will so your accusation overweigh that you shall stifle in your own report and smell of me. <laughs> I have begun. And now I give my sensual race the rein. Fit thy consent to my sharp appetite. Lay by all nicety and prolixious blushes that banish what they sue for. Redeem thy brother by yielding up thy body to my will. Or else he must not only die the death, but thy unkindness shall his death draw out through lingering sufferance. Answer me tomorrow. For by the affection that now guides me most, I'll prove a tyrant to him. As for you, say what you can. My faults always your true. To whom should I complain? Did I tell this, who would believe me? O oh, perilous mouths that bear in them one and the self-same tongue, either of condemnation or of proof, bidding the law make curtsy to their will, hooking both right and wrong to the appetite follows the draws. Oh, 
out to my brother. Though he hath fallen by prompture of the blood, yet hath he in him such a mind of honour, that had he twenty heads to tender down on twenty bloody blocks, he deal them up, before his sister should her body stoop to such a barred pollution. Then Isabel lived chaste, and brother die. More than our brother is our chastity. I'll tell him yet of Angelo's request, and fit his mind to death for his soul's rest. <laughs>